Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. I'm here in front of our new A81 NX Makino. It is a beast and guess what? We're gonna cut some chips for the first time today. Got a big old chunk of 604V titanium. Let's make it happen. All right, so now we're gonna actually take the tombstone and we're gonna actually place it on the pallet. Before we do that, we just wanna be very cautious. We wanna make sure that there's no high spots. In all likelihood, this is perfect. And the tombstone is perfect because there's a crazy amount of workmanship that went into both. But you just never know. So as machinists, we're just gonna do due diligence. And we're just gonna stone it, right? We're not putting any pressure on it. We're just allowing it to go nice little figure eight. And we're just knocking down any high spot. Anything that's lifted up, we're gonna knock it down. We're gonna do it to the pallet, we're gonna do it to the tombstone, and then we're gonna clean it, we're gonna double check with our hands, we're gonna make sure everything is absolutely perfect. So when they mate, there's not even the slightest chip in place, dust, nothing. It just has to be absolutely perfect. If you had the smallest chip that was as thin as a piece of paper, it would cock the tombstone by like three thousandths, right? So we just want it to be absolutely perfect. Once the tombstone is in place, we're gonna take M16 bolts and we're gonna start locking it down. But there's even a strategic move here because these stops right here are precision and they're perfect. So we don't wanna lock the tombstone straight down first. We just wanna get it close and then we wanna take these guys and start snugging them up from the sides slowly, boom, boom, so that we can ensure that the tombstone is perfect and flat to this surface. And once that's done and it's snug, then we'll start snugging everything else up and then we'll lock these guys down and then we'll lock the tombstone down and we can ensure that everything is perfect. Once the tombstone goes in, we'll indicate the tombstone, see if we're off. And if we're off a few thousandths or a few tenths, we'll make an adjustment at that time to make sure across X and Y, everything is just dialed and perfect from the initial setup. Again, if it's off in the slightest, every single setup you will ever do will be off. All right, so it's very important. So Jeff just indicated the tombstone, made some adjustments. We put it in the offset so it's absolutely perfect. Now we're gonna take the tombstone and we're gonna rotate it back out to the front. And we're gonna install the Shunk Rota S Flex 550, things a beast, boom. All right, so we're locked and loaded. We got the Rota S Flex 550 from Shunk locked and loaded onto this beast of a tombstone. And now we're gonna load our material. So the material itself is a 150 pound beast of a piece. It's 15 inches in diameter. So I measured it, basically brought this out more. So we're gonna use a forklift right now. I don't have a crane, but we're gonna get one. All right, so we're gonna load this thing. TMS Titanium, thank you for helping us with education. at the specs on the Rota S shock and it calls out a max of 120 newton meters so that's exactly where we're going because this guy's a beast. Boom, oh, there we go. Baby's in there tight. Ah, so beautiful. One thing that I'm super impressed with the engineering from Shunk on this guy, they actually have a gold pin over here. And if you don't actually torque this bad boy correctly, the pin will be sticking out of the chunk. But as you go tight and you dial it in and everything is engaged perfectly, the pin goes in and then it's nice and flush. And that means you did it correctly. All right, so we got the material locked and loaded. This is raw stock. 
right? So raw stock is always oversized. It's not absolutely perfect. You actually had a saw that cut this 15 inch diameter. It's important to pre-op the material. So this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna actually rotate the tombstones, get this inside the machine. We're gonna actually put an indicator on and make sure that we know exactly where the low spot is. Then we're gonna probe that low spot and go about 25 thousandths below the lowest part of the material. And then we're gonna skim it with a can of metal dodeca cutter, big old four inch, boom, boom, boom. Make this surface perfect. And we're gonna drop down with a can of metal Harvey 3 end mill, it's got six screws. And then we're gonna cut the diameter to 14.95. This pre-op that I actually programmed in Mastercam is gonna actually make it perfect and perpendicular so that we can flip it back out, flip the part around, and actually when we hold it the second time to do the other side, we'll be locked onto perfect material. The thickness will be perfect. And when you step into aerospace, when you step up into high tolerances, when you're coming in with high feed rates, you gotta make sure that your work holding, your material, everything is perfection. All right, you guys ready to do this? We'll flip it around. We just took our first cut with the Kenna Metal Dodeca, the four inch shell mill. And I just stopped it because there was a lot of coolant. I just wanted to see it. So it was a, it was a rough and cut. I was about middle of the road on that guy. And uh, just wanna check it out. Nice. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's continue. <laughs> Boom, and there you go, titanium chips. <laughs> Success, brother. Ah, oh, so we faced it, we profiled it, we're gonna take it out, we're gonna flip it, we're gonna lock it onto this perfect surface that's nice and perpendicular, and then we're gonna go to town, all right? So the next video, we're gonna actually start machining a crazy part. All right, you guys have a great weekend. I'm out, Jeff, great job. Thank you. Boom, proud of you, man. Thanks, man. All right, you guys, take care.